Hi guys, Nick60 here, coming to you with another review after oh so long! Uh, it has been forever, hasn't it? Well, you can thank, uh, Gage1234 for even, well, even get this happening, because I have not had a lot of time. And I should probably do an update video, uh, short version is can't find a job so I made my own. That plus trying to get ready for the upcoming college year has kind of bitten to my time. Anyways, so Gage found me during one of my rare excursions online and talked me into doing this review. So today we are doing the FS2000. The FS2000 is a gear point assault rifle, a uh, fairly high rank for a majority of combat arms. Uh, let's be honest, like 90% of them are under sergeants. Anyways, so this is Command Sergeant. Uh, Command Sergeant Major, I think, is the full rank. I don't remember. I think it's one. Pretty sure it's one. Anyways, uh, pretty close to pretty close to there. Anyways, so it's a 3090 standard magazine. Uh, you can uh, modify all three areas. Let me see if I can remember how to do these. Uh, what else do I need to cover? Uh, the gun, the gun recoils and spreads pretty bad. It's like a hybrid between an SMG and an assault rifle. Um, the iTech pretty much brings it back up to assault rifle level accuracy. So, the gun pet goes very well with iTech. Tried it some with ACOG, didn't like it. Stick with iTech. It's accurate enough. Uh, I'm way out of practice. <laughs> so, yeah, I get better as the match goes on, but anyways, not important. Uh, I personally really like it because it plays like a assault rifle SMG. Uh, hybrid because everyone knows I really like SMGs um, so yeah I like this gun uh, a lot more than a number of the other assault rifles mostly the heavy ones but that's personal preference the guns good like I said the iTech really helps it's got an NX version the F2000 and an NX rare version something F something 2000 FX I don't remember anyways uh, that has a built-in scope so I have no idea how either of those perform so yeah anyways so the gun the gun spits out ammo pretty quickly I guess you could afford an extended mag one uh, its quick reload would easily facilitate that uh, suppressor is unnecessary in terms of recoil control if you're putting a suppressor on does enough damage to make it worth it but you're only doing that in order to avoid being seen so yeah fairly portable for an AR but it's not as portable as a SMG like I said it's kinda like that hybrid um, in real life it's very much a hybrid style weapon uh, this is the, this is the real life shooter in me yeah I've actually fired some guns so I actually know a little bit about what I'm talking about uh, so I'm just going to talk about that for a couple minutes now because while I try to think of something else to say about this gun, I think I covered it already. Um, it is a bullpup style. Now one thing that is inaccurate about combat arms is it doesn't spit bullets out of the side. It, like, see how they, see how they just, uh, like jump out of the gun like they do with other guns? Uh, that's not true. The real life F2000 and its civilian variant FS2000, which is only semi-automatic, uh, spits the bullets out of a small tube right bes right next to the barrel in the front, making it an ambidextrous gun. You can shoot it either side without uh, hot li hot shells spitting into you, which is a great thing. Uh, there's a number of guns that are starting to do that. I know the P90 uh, dumps them out from under the gun. But, yeah. Um, it comes in uh, 5.56-223 standard, which is pretty much the standard for assault rifles. Um, the civilian model does have a slightly longer barrel, but that's because of legal issues. And I still can't think of anything else to say combat arms-wise. Um, it is a little bit more expensive than most other assault rifles, but once you put the iTech on it, you can see why. I know, that makes it even more expensive, but, uh, the gun's performance is 
is pretty good. So, yeah. I can't think of anything else to say about the FS-2000 right now besides if you like close quarters battles but want something more accurate than a submachine gun, there's the, there's what you this is probably what you're going to be going for. So, after this, I have a little bit of a shout out actually, two shout outs, two shout outs. Uh one my moment while I make sure I get the name right. Uh, he, he's he's been on here before, but I always screw up the numbers. Captain nine eight eight, that's him. Yeah, he gifted me Gearpoint gifted me a set of mines, and a uh, and a light vest. And everyone knows I like mines and like being able to run fast. So that most definitely is gonna come in handy. And he's actually in the next review. So, but first, thanks once again to Gage one two three four for. Well, you guys can thank him more than I can thank him. I thank him for being there, but you guys can thank him for getting me to actually make her make this review. And then uh, Captain 988 caught up with me later and did the same thing. So, thanks again, guys. Uh, there's the FS2000, some in-game and real-life stats. And I will talk to you guys uh, in the next review. Nick60 signing off.